All right, chemistry, let's take a look at our worksheet number one for chapter 10. We're talking about the kinetic molecular theory of matter. Number one, use the kinetic molecular theory to explain each of the following properties of gases. Okay, now I'm not wanting you to list the properties of gases, and I'm not wanting you to list the five assumptions of the kinetic molecular theory. What I'm wanting you to do is draw the connection. Right? The theory, a scientific theory is an attempt to explain why things are the way they are. Now, gases have these characteristics, right? They're observed. And so this is the way things are. Gases expand. Why do they expand? You don't know. The kinetic molecular theory is an attempt to explain why gases expand. Okay, so we're trying to use those assumptions to explain what we see in nature. So, expansion, a property of gas. According to the kinetic molecular theory, why do they expand? Well, gas particles move rapidly in all directions without significant attraction or repulsion between them. Right? And so they simply randomly move outward. Fluidity, gases flow. Well, that's because attractive forces between gas particles are insignificant, right? No attraction, no repulsion. They don't interact with each other all that much. So they simply flow past one another. Gases have low density. Well, gas particles are farther apart than they are in any other state, right? Which would be solids or liquids. Compressibility has the exact same reasoning. We're just looking at it from a slightly different angle. Gas particles are farther apart than they are in any other state. Well, because they've expanded, because they have a low density, right? The each um, individual particle is very, very far away from its nearest neighbor. That means there's a whole lot of empty space in between individual gas particles that you can actually close down. You can actually compress that gas into a smaller space. And lastly, a diffusion. Gas particles are in continuous and random motion. And so once you allow a particular gas to, to roam free, that rapid random movement is going to carry that gas throughout that container and expand to fill whatever container that is. Now, the process of that gas diffusing and mix that spontaneous, spontaneous mixing with other gases is known as diffusion.